Greetings theists, non-theists, polytheists, pagans, deists, hedonists, whatever the fuck you call yourself. I am the atheist powder. I would like to talk about um, gay marriage. I've been talking about this a long time. Now, I'm not going to be rushing into marriage to win a dude. I'm not attracted to men. But I can't see why that right should be denied to others. Most of the gay marriage thing has been denied on religious grounds. Constitutionally, you cannot deny two human beings having a mutual contract. And so therefore, I have to object on it on the grounds of the First Amendment. You're favoring Christianity or Islam or whatever you call it over, you know, a couple who just want to have certain rights. When, when people are asking for gay marriage, they're not asking for a religious sanction by this group to be recognized by God. That doesn't have to happen. If a church doesn't want to marry a couple, they have every right not to marry that couple. So that's not going to change. What they're asking for is certain legal rights to their partner. They want to have a joint bank account. They want to have, um, if there's an emergency, they want to make a medical decision. Those type of things uh, that they're asking for in a gay marriage. Now, many try to object with uh, gay marriage lead will open the doors to polygamy, bestiality, child marriages. Well, first of all, we're asking for a consensual agreement. So off the bat, that throws out the beast, you know, the bestiality marriages and the child marriages because neither can consent to such an agreement. What's a goat going to do with your medical rights or it? You know, it's basically a general power of attorney. What marriage is, is, it's close to or damn near. But what about polygamy? Polygamy is, but right now the current laws are structured for two people. So it's going to have to be completely revamped to allow polygamy. It, so, even so, you can make a secular argument against polygamy that it is damaging, that it, it's going to be a nightmare in order to um, have divorce proceedings or some sort of... There, there, there's all sorts of objections you can give it for secular reasons. Even so, making it legal is probably not a bad idea. Remember, polygamy can go either way. Or it could be called polyandry or polyamorous. The, all these things can be equally as legal, but trying to figure out the do's and don'ts legally is a whole other matter. It has nothing to do. Basically, this not only is the slippery slope argument, is also a red herring. It has nothing to do with the actual matter at hand, which is gay marriage. Now, some try to object that um, gay marriage doesn't produce children. Well, no duh. But in a world that has such high birth rate now, compared to the world of the past, and that we're having so many children that are not being adopted, oh by the way, gays are mostly adopting them, hmm, they're actually solving the problem. What about you? Oh yeah, you're making more babies. And who says you have to, that marriages must have children? Oh, we now should have the government handing out breeding licenses? people. I know a few people that shouldn't, but they have tons of children. And who says uh, you even have to be married to even get children in the first place? Oh yeah, the Bible. So we're going back to a religious issue and not a secular reason. You cannot give a secular reason for objecting to gay marriage. I haven't heard of one yet. The one that's even close to I've heard is um, some societies will collapse if they fully accept homosexuality. Now, in stating, studying those ancient um, societies, they didn't really collapse because they accepted homosexuality. They collapsed because they were invaded. And with the low birth rates and the acceptance of homosexuality, obviously they had fewer children. But it's still everyone's right to have children or not. 
that has nothing you don't have any business sticking your nose into that you just don't and to, to somehow say that's a reason for today makes no sense we're not constantly being invaded or uh, or needing a large population or already too much with a world of seven billion people and probably going to be another 9 billion by the age of uh, 2050. We cannot handle the... Re we're outstripping the planet's resources. So you're telling me that homosexuality is one of the most important issues today. you got to give me a freaking break. Why do people need to have so many gosh darn children? And why do marriages have to be like that? They don't. They just want certain legal rights. What is wrong with gay marriage? Obviously, they can't get anything besides the Bible. <sighs> Come on, people. Let's think logically. We are not a Christian nation. We're just a nation full of Christians. Majority rules, but minorities have rights. Only the ignorant think that the majority rules, period. They don't. Whites used to be the majority. We still are the majority. But we still don't get to rule over blacks just because we're more numerous. Do we make them our slaves? No. This is a mistake that we have learned from. And I think we should continue to learn from the mistakes of the past. That majority rules, but minorities still have rights. Minorities still have rights. And we got to keep that in mind when it comes to this. Just because you don't agree with their lifestyle or their philosophy doesn't give you the right to stick your nose in their personal business. If you believe God is going to judge them for this, then leave it to Him. How hard is that? If you're going to believe God is going to judge all liars, homosexuals, or adulterers, or yada yada yada, then leave it to Him. You are not God. I know that one thing for sure. So, I am the Atheist Paladin. Sign off, please. Think logically, think rationally. And that will lead you to the path of righteousness. Peace.